Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Loquid, and you are you, and this is Europa Universalis IV as the nation of Pala. In the last episode, if I can find my notes, we took a bite out of Tomar, and it was not a small bite, it was quite the significant bite. We took Itawa, Lucknow, Bahrich, and, uh... Baisi Arasya. And in so doing, we weakened Tomar to the point where Gorjara is going to gobble them up. Which really, really sucks. Because we don't need Gorjara to be any more powerful than they are now. Now if we come down and look at them, they've got 27 troops. Right? That's not so bad in, the, in, in and of itself because we have 41. However... They are buddy-buddy with our mortal enemies down here, Chalukya. And Chalukya, if we look at them, is sitting at 56 base units. We're not that far behind them. However, we go to war with Chalukya, we're going to war with Pagan and Gurjara at the same time. And Pagan, uh, they've got like 36 or something, I think. 31. So between them, we're looking at well over 100,000 troops if we attack Chalukya or they attack us. That's not to mention all the tens of thousands of extra additional troops that Chalukya gets from all over the Far East here, right? For no reasons at all. So we're going to continue trying to be peaceful with Chalukya. We're going to try and continue to be peaceful with Garjara here. And we're going to try and continue to be peaceful with Pagan. Until we can make buddy-buddy with the Kemmers. That's the key. Because uh, the Kemmers, uh, they would not... Why wouldn't you? Trust... Pala Navy strength. Kemmer already has powerful allies. Pella have too many diplomatic relations. Pella army strength. So we're too weak for them. Both militarily and navally. That's 40. They don't trust us. That's another 20. Uh, actually, no. So 48 there. Um, they got... Other powerful allies, that's another... Yeah, so we're, we're not going to be able to get an alliance with them. Who do we have here? We're building Spy with Quarrel, yep. And then uh, building Spy with Tomar. We're going to cancel this. Uh, because Tomar is not going to be in existence for much longer. They really are not. Uh, Gujara there is... Uh, they're just going to... They're going to gobble them up like nobody's business. Uh, Going to continue trying to improve relations with Kemmers because we need them as an ally. God, we need them as an ally. Now, another thing that happened is we got these Tibetan separatists who want Shigatse to be ceded to Tibet. And I have not made up my mind as to whether I'm going to do so or not. Now, granted, Tibet is my vassal. But if I give them territory, I want to give it to them. I don't want them to take it back by force. This is like them caught, you know, going through a rebellion or something like that and saying, we want our land back, we're going to kick your ass until you give it back. However, our faithfulest ally here uh, and vassal, Guj, is sitting here telling the Tibetans, no, why are you doing this? Paula is a nice, benevolent leader. They only want the best for us. They, they, they just want us to, to love them, and, and they want our support, and that is all they want, which is true. So thank you, Googe. You're fabulous, darling. Fabulous. All right. So we need to build our military back up. We are sitting at a maximum unit in present of 35. However, we only have 9.2k. So that's huge. Rebel Uprising in Kalapi and Bunderkland in three years. 
Alright, so I guess we will go sit in Kalapi. And we will boost stability. Hopefully that will reduce all of this stuff. Alright, maintain Diplomat. With the Kimmers. Yeah, there's there's no way. No way. Back to the Fatimids. Yeah, no, they, there's no way they would go to go to ally with us. None of these guys are gonna ally with us. Yeah, this we're pretty much on our own. Uh, we got Sind and Seminids as our allies, and that's gonna be it. Okay, so now we need to get down to Bundle Canned. Where's Bundle Canned? These names, I should know them by now. Bundle Canned. There we go. Oh, so frustrating. All right, what can we do with this? We cannot make any more cores. We can, however, lower our, our uh, war fatigue. That should help with all of this. With all this uh, rebel risks. We're back up to 11.4. We just have to get up another 23,000. You know what? What's our navy look like? We haven't taken a look at our navy for a while. All right, we're sitting, we're at 21. That, that's fine. And they're all right there. So that is not good. We want transports to go there. Even though we've only got one. It's kind of pointless. So we are also in the process of trying to keep Chalukya off our ass as much as possible. All right, lots of truces have ended. Um, let's see, do they have any claims? They got one there. And that's about it. And that expires in 19 years. However, every year that we are not at war, hell, every month that we are not at war with Chalukya makes us that much stronger and more able to try and fight them off. Oh my god, 24? Oh, jeebus. Run. Run to the capital. Okay, we can at least kill you. That one's going to be easy. I was saying in Bundercan, damn it, not in uh, Itwa. Okay, run. No, go this way. And at our current rate of 362 per turn, that's going to be. So three months for a thousand. And we need a minimum of 24,000. Oh, let's see. That's 369. We can get 4,000 a year. So that's 16. So we need three years worth of troops minimum with no casualties before we can take these guys on. Which is going to suck. Oh, tell me, tell me Googe is going to go fight them and just kick their ass. That would be hilarious. That would be awesome. Nope, they're going to loot. What? That is not allies. Guj lost their ass. How can that be considered an ally victory? Seriously. 
that makes no sense at all. Alright, we converted someone religiously. Fabulous. Now we need to wait for the priest to come back. Oh. Oh, they, they control it. Right. Okay, never mind. Yep, they're 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 capturing more. Uh, Tamar has been discovered building a spy network. Oh, they didn't die off completely. Oh, that's fabulous. That is fabulous. All right. You got a claim there. Now, stop. Yep, yep, yep. All right, and continue building with Tamar. Ooh, if we can get another couple of uh, couple of spots from Tamar, that'd be excellent. Ooh, but it's gonna take ten years. But yeah, they lost several bits of territory to uh, Gorjara there. That's that's definitely not good. Let's see if we can go take this back before because it's going to be really bad. Ooh, civil war in Kwarazimia. They're a decent size. All right, not too shabby. Oh yeah, we can get that one back pretty quickly. Okay, no, we wanna go down here. Now, like normal, the more you can keep them from taking, the longer it will take them to even be able to enforce their uh, their demands. So we can just keep taking these two back and forth. Their demands will basically never be met or be able to be met. Okay, never mind. Get off of there. Keep renewing the loans and oh my goodness. No, no, no. Run, run! Did we seriously? We won! Oh my god. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that at all. Alright, go back to building the spy network, you heathenous whatever you are. Um, okay. Improvements in trade technology. Our merchants have picked up a few new concepts when it comes to handling trade. When they encountered some foreign merchants, they think that with some investment to try it out, it will be very beneficial to Paula in the long run. Uh, do it. My king, uh, okay, yeah, we, we took it back. And Pagan is still building spy networks, and so is Chalukia, the frickin' jerks. Yeah, jerky jerks, jerky jerks. Where are we sitting here now? Negative 102, that's a little better than it was. It was like 112 or something, I think. And there we go. Fabulous. Put you back in the capital. Oh my God, a song. What happened to you? You're now allied with Kimmers and Chalukya? Because Pagan took most of you. Wow. Crazy. If I do say so myself. That's brutal. All right. Okay, we're building cores there. Uh, yeah, we can repay that loan. Excellent. So we're down to what? Six now? Four, five, six. Yep, six. Very good, very good. And our inflation is on the down, which is good. Now, we do need some karma. So we're going to take the karma. 
Land theft. Many land donations are quite old, and while they are always written down, both landscape and names may well have changed since, yep, we just read this last episode, I believe it was. Uh, okay, who are, we, who are we doing here? Side with monastic order, they get 15 loyalty, nobility loses 15, which will pretty much put them at... You know what? We're, we're going to side with nobody. They're both going to lose 10 influence, and they're both going to lose 10 loyalty. Which is going to cause hell in our relations window here. That, that really sucks. But it's okay. We're going to bring you to... Let's see here... There, for now. And then we're going to split you and take you there. For the time, we take Garwal. Yeah, buddy. Uh, wedge throw. The last seasons have not been very kind to the Gorkfor region, and one of the duties of the king is to take care of the poor. A delegation of farmers has now approached the king asking to be exempt from taxes and to receive a three-year loan so they are able to take care of the families while they work on getting back on their feet. Um, yeah, that's, that's a reasonable request. We'll take it. If I remember right, they pay it back uh, at some point with interest. I could be wrong. In fact, I probably am. I usually, you know... These kind of things I usually am wrong. But my, look how we've grown. We are doing so much better. Now, if we would still have all of this territory, Chalukyas, uh, we would be probably as strong as Liao or stronger. Oh, we can make a state. Excellent. Do it. Do it. And then... Add another core. Fabulous. We're going to convert you. 55 months. Bam. Get er done. I'm in a good mood because we're doing relatively nice at the moment. Really sucks that I can't gobble a psalm up. Freaking Chalukya Pagan allies. And they hate us because of aggressive expansion. Uh, Ichwa is part of our promenary. All right. Hey, we converted successfully. All right. 83 months, we'll convert that. Yep, see, they paid it back with interest. Now, let's check our technology. We are getting so close to more shock. And global settler increase. How the hell does that help us? Oh, we're losing money. We are losing money. And we have no diplomatic points available because we keep spending them. We need to stop spending them. But I, I'm just so impatient. I can't. We're still at six loans. Uh, uh, pop up crazy. Uh, King chose those underhanded rogues in Pagan. Yep, claiming. Tamar claiming. Land technology research useless. Um, we're already at negative. Might as well. Oh, what is going on here? Sind is under attack by the uh, Gurjara Alliance from the looks of it. The Safford's Alliance. So, Gurjara... Uyghurs and Fatimids. Send your you're you're dying, dude. And of course, 
Of course. We've got more rebels popping up somewhere. All right, you're going to be Basi Rajvia. I know I'm saying that wrong. Where is it at? Where is it at? Oh, come on. I know it's here somewhere. Come on, game. Baisi Rajya. Oh, we've already got troops there. My bad. Let's switch you then. And where else? Okay. And the other ones I'm not concerned about at all. Pagan has been discovered building another spy network. Imagine that. We lost our spy again. Keep building. I want you at a hundred. Ooh. Right. We're actually at 18, so let's split you again. We'll be there. There we go. No more attrition. No more attrition. Right, we need to figure this out. Why are we suffering so much money? All right, let's turn you down for the moment until our troops are recovered, because that is the big cost right now. Uh, and then let's turn our troops down as well. So not quite as many will get there every month, and their maintenance is not at max, but it's not uh, as bad as re lowering it completely. Hindu zealots, 80%. Oh my god. Seriously? Yeah! The Samanids, right, are going to war again. Uh, they started it with the Fatimids, the Uyghurs, the Gurja. Um. We decline, we'll lose 25 prestige. We're already at negative 27. Um, we can increase that. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna, we will accept, but we're gonna stay out of it. Now, so this war, right? Uh, Safarids and Uyghurs, right? Safarids have 17, so that's not that bad, actually. That's these guys right here. And then Uyghurs, 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 how you, how you pronounce it? They got 14. So between the two of them, they got right around 30,000 troops. Uh, I know for a fact that between all of us, we have more than that. So let's check the Salmonids. They got 23. Uh, Guj, that's us. Tibet, that's us. So it's just us and them. They're probably going to lose this because I cannot afford to send troops up. Safarids, what are you doing? Are you seriously bringing your troops up here to fight me? Yes, they are. Holy crap. What asses. We were, just, we were gonna stay out of the war, you jerks. Come on, win, win, we won. Oh my God, that's fantastic. But we lost, like, a fifth of our army. That was horrible. There's no reason for them to do that. Oh, lovely. Lose three more base tax in another province. We lost three last episode, and we never recovered it. Because we just don't have the god... We don't have the points. Ugh. Uh, 
we have a maximum force of 35,000, but we just can't build it back up because people keep, things keep happening. We keep getting rebels and the enemies keep attacking us and we keep losing troops. And we've only got like 325 a month, which really sucks. This is just so, so bad. Uh, what about Garwal? They have no allies. Oh, we're... It, that sucks. We're at peace with them. Huh. We're actually winning this war. Which is intriguing. Because we... They are seriously underhanded. And that, that is one thing that I've always not liked um, about Europa Universalis 4 is that the AI, when it's chasing you, the player, down, it is brutally fucking efficient. But when they're chasing each other down, they'll just do this little dancey, dancey dance thing here and go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And your allies that you want to win are usually, usually get their asses handed to them. Uh, cultural unrest. Uh, suppress the rebels. Let's try to negotiate. Okay, fine. Grab your local autonomy, you idiots. We're just trying to get our troops back, you freaking dum-dums. Wow, Tibet has no troops to go take that back. We're, we're going to have to go take that back at some point. We could do it now with the troops we have. But I want to have some manpower in the bank. Chaluki has been discovering another spy network. What a surprise, right? All right, what a surprise. Um, okay, how are we doing on alliance possibility? 105, nope, has not changed. Ah, uh, Oh, we got rebels. We got rebs bulls. Can we get there before they die? Yes, we can. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Stability drop. Our king died. Such a glorious ruler. 214. Thank you, game. Oh, my crappy goodness. Really gotta save them Diplo points now, don't we? Yep. Really gotta save them. How the hell do we have men in the bank? Oh, it's because we were fighting the entire month. Right. I knew that. Yep, these Safarids are starting to take back their territory. Uh, because these Salmonids uh, are down... Oh, they still got 23. 23 versus 5. Interesting. So they're going to win this freaking war. That's interesting. I was not expecting that. I really, really was not. Um, fucking A. Chaluki declared war. You ass clowns. You know what? I'm probably going to get a huge backlash for this. But Chalukia, they're, they're, they're just... Chaluki is being too damn greedy, right? There is no reason they should be going for this. Yes, they have a claim, but it is our culture, it is our religion. Right, Bengali. Now, if we look at them, Chalukya. They got 58,000 troops. 
And this war is against us, Assam, and Pagan. So. Let's give us 50,000 manpower. I really hate to do that, but I am seriously getting sick and tired of these jackasses doing this to us. We have not been able to recover since they first attacked us. However, that's going to do it for this episode, folks. Uh, you'll see the next episode. We're going to let our troops kind of re try to recover, maybe. It's, it, we'll see how this goes. I seriously doubt it's going to go good because Chiluki is just too damn powerful and they keep beating up on us like nobody's business. Um, anyway, until next time, I'm Loke with you or you, and this has been your Rope by Universalis 4 with more pointless wars. Y'all have a wonderful day. Peace out.